What's going on, party people? Today, I'm gonna be reviewing a classic G Fuel flavor, and that flavor is Phase Berry. Now, if you didn't know, on this channel, I'm reviewing all the G Fuel flavors until I get through all of them. And if there's a canned version of any of those flavors, I'm gonna be comparing those to the powder as well. Now, that's actually one of the reasons why I chose to review this flavor next, is because one, it's a classic. Two, People get recommended this flavor a lot. I used to recommend this one a lot in the past. And three, the canned version of Phaseberry is actually one of my favorites. Now, before we get into this review, I just want to remind you that G Fuel code DannyD is 10 to 30% off at gfuel.com. Using that code directly supports this channel and keeps these G Fuel reviews coming. And if you're wondering when that code is going to be 30% off, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I usually announce it on there. Now, let's get into the review. Now, this is actually one of the original four flavors of G Fuel. It was inspired by Phase Clan. This was actually the first flavor of G Fuel I ever tried, and I actually liked it enough that I decided to order more. Now, this is Phase Berry, so obviously there's a lot of berries on it. You can see some pomegranate, blueberry, and strawberry. And as you can see, this is actually one of the rare flavors that is only 10 calories a serving. Most of the G Fuel flavors are 15 calories. Here are the nutrition facts. Let's crack this tub open. I'm definitely getting a strong berry smell, which is kind of what you would expect from this flavor. As you can see, like most G Fuel flavors, it is a white powder. And today I got my pink drip shaker with 16 ounces of water and some ice. I like to choose a clear shaker for my G Fuel reviews so you can see the color. And so I'm going to take a full scoop and dump it right in there. I just got G Fuel powder all over my mouse. Right away, you can see it's turning pink. And I'm also happy to say that today our G Fuel shaking expert is present to shake this G Fuel up to his standards. So I'm going to go get him. Hi! You got hiccups? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're getting heavy, mister. All right, shake it up. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, party foul! Is that good? Yeah. This is called phase berry. <laughs> no, don't hit it! Oh! What are you gonna go do? Uh, what? <laughs> you gonna watch a movie? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna go eat some dinner? Yeah. Bye! Alright, little man. Have fun. Be good for mama. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> he is such a spaz today. Alright, now that our G Fuel has been shaken up to the standards of our G Fuel shaking expert, we're gonna give it a taste. I'm getting a strong strawberry smell. And it's definitely very strawberry tasting. Now, when I normally recommend phase berry to people, I tell them it tastes very strong of strawberry, but it's mixed berry. And you do get hints of other berries in there. Definitely like some pomegranate. I think I can get a little hint of blueberry in there. And if I do remember correctly, the old formula of this wasn't so strong in the strawberry department. But I do think the flavor has been improved. It's a very refreshing flavor. Really sweet. And as I said, I do recommend this to first timers if you're looking for a safe flavor. And the strawberry note that I'm getting here is pretty close to like a strawberry baby bottle pop. That was a candy I had a lot as a kid. But overall, I really don't have any complaints about this flavor. It's not my favorite, but I might put it in my top 10. If I do put it in the top 10, it's definitely towards the bottom of that list. I think I'll give it a solid 8.5. I think the only people that aren't going to like this are people who aren't a fan of strawberries or they're just not a big fan of berry stuff to begin with. If you're somebody like me and you're not big on fruit punch type flavors, even though this is a fruit medley type flavor, I feel like more people are going to like this than they do fruit punch. Overall, it's a solid classic flavor. Being that it's one of the original four flavors next to blue ice that is still around, this flavor kind of made G feel what it is today. And the only reason why I'm not recommending this flavor as much as I did in the past is because there's just so many good G feel flavors out there now. And there's flavors out there like Hype Sauce and Shiny Splash that I feel like just kind of appeal to a broader range of people. But I guarantee you, once I get through all the G Fuel flavors and I do a overall ranking of all of them, this is gonna be towards the top. Now, if you're somebody who happens to be sensitive to caffeine or you're not old enough to have caffeine, maybe your parents tell you you can't, definitely check out my review on the Phaseberry 
G Fuel Hydration Formula, which doesn't contain caffeine. I will say that the hydration flavor is way stronger in the strawberry department. You don't really get the other notes of berry in that flavor, but I believe I gave it a very similar score. And as I said before, the Faceberry can is fantastic. So look forward to that review. There's also a lot of new G Fuel flavors and products on their way. So if there's anything that you're looking forward to, like Maiden's Blood, or the Sanic Chili Dog flavor. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss those reviews. But that's going to be it for this review. As always, stay safe, be nice to each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.